Hello everyone, my name is Razvan Beuran and I'm going to introduce to you the activities of our lab on improving future society trustworthiness through security research. First of all, let me introduce the lab. I'm an associate professor and I'm a member of the Next Generation Digital Infrastructure Research Area. Our lab is very international and we have students from Vietnam, China and of course Japan. One important thing to know about our lab is that we do applied security R&D. This means we are not doing only theoretical work but practical work developing systems and so on. You can see more about our lab on the link uh, shown on this slide. The activities of our lab are focused on four main directions, cybersecurity, IoT CPS security, trustworthiness, assurance and education and training. And all these uh, directions, they aim to improve the trustworthiness of the future society, which is also called Society 5.0. Let me start by introducing the first direction, cyber security. In this direction, we are currently doing mainly research on AI-based cyber security systems. And as an example, I can mention the automated penetration testing and defense uh, systems that we are uh, currently researching. And the, the, the figure below is an example of this uh, kind of automated penetration testing system architecture. In addition, we also conduct experimental verification of end-to-end -end security features to make sure that application and protocols uh, meet the expectations of their users and developers. The second research direction is IoT CPS security. IoT means Internet of Things and CPS means Cyber Physical Systems. Within this direction, the main focus is currently on automated network system design, which makes possible to uh, create system designs that are uh, secure by using uh, techniques such as AI and formal methods, for instance, design space exploration. Our current research uses the MITRE attack knowledge base about uh, security related uh, information and uh, makes possible such uh, secure designs. In addition, we also conduct verification of security and privacy for IoT devices. The third uh, direction that I am going to talk about is trustworthiness. Trustworthiness uh, is a more theoretical research direction and it is related on how to ensure that complex IoT CPS systems, uh, sometimes called systems of systems, are trustworthy. And these uh, examples of such systems are smart buildings and uh, smart cities, for example. And there are five uh, trustworthiness components that uh, we are looking at. One is safety, uh, the other one is security, then privacy, reliability, and resilience. And all these uh, components need to be taken into account in order to ensure that uh, complex systems are trustworthy. This is an important topic for the future society 5.0. And we are currently developing a trustworthiness assurance framework and conducting case studies on smart buildings to ensure that our methodology is correct. Furthermore, we are planning standardization activities, for instance, in ITUT of this methodology. The fourth uh, research direction is about education and training. In the current society, there is a lack of cybersecurity uh, experts and in order to make sure that they have the required skills for their uh, job, uh, practical security training, hands-on uh, activities are required. This is why uh, 
one of our activities in this research direction is to uh, do R&D on technical security training systems that use cyber ranges, which are uh, network environments for cyber security training. And one uh, result of this uh, research activity is the Cytron framework that we have developed to facilitate such training activities. In addition, we also conduct security awareness training related research, which is aimed at regular IT users. And this is also called sometimes IT literacy. And in this uh, area, we try to make uh, the training activities more enjoyable by using, for example, techniques such as gamification. And one thing to note is that the Cytron framework that I mentioned is used for uh, hands-on security training uh, conducted at GIST as part of the uh, course uh, Literacy in Information Security Management, I465S. This course is given in Japanese though, so you will need Japanese skills to be able to attend it. But if you are interested, I uh, strongly recommend it as an interesting uh, training experience. So far, I have mainly spoke about our research in English. So let me also introduce it in uh, Japanese. Kore kara nihongo demo beuranken no kenkyu katsudo nitsuite shokai shitai to omoimasu. Iotsu no kadai ni torikunde ite hitotsu me wa cyber security to narimasu. AI base no cyber security system no kenkyu kaihatsu wa え、一つ プロトコルとアプリケーションがセキュリティを守っているかどうかを検証しています。2つ目の課題は現在開発しているところです。それから、IoT機器のセキュリティプライバシーの検証にも取り組んでいます。3つ目の課題ですが、信頼性の保障についての研究となります。こちらの課題はセオリーに近い課題となりますが、この複雑なシステムスマートシティ
So let me return to English now and uh, I will mention that the potential students uh, that would like to join our lab uh, need to have uh, various uh, knowledge and skills such as basic abilities related to networks and network security and good computer programming and or analytical skills. However, most importantly is uh, to have independent thinking and a strong motivation to learn and develop oneself. As for the abilities that you will acquire, a deep knowledge of networks and network security is important. And of course, uh, network related uh, software development and testing uh, that you will conduct. And last but not least, hands-on network security experience. So these are the kind of technical abilities that you will acquire. However, given that our lab is so international, English paper reading, writing and presentation skills uh, will also be improved significantly. If you are interested in uh, our lab, uh, please uh, don't hesitate to contact me at the email address mentioned on this slide. Beuran Kenkyushu ni kyomi ga arimashitara, zen zehi meiru ad kochira no meiru adresu ni renraku kudasai. Thank you for listening.